Hello and welcome friends. In today's video, we are going to be understanding about a very funny concept, confusion matrix, but at the same time, very, very important concept when it comes to machine learning. Okay, confusion matrix. Okay, we know about this term. We know what is a matrix, but what is so confusing about it? That's why the name is itself is confusion matrix. What's that confusion? I'm going to resolve that confusion. I'm going to make the thing simple for you with a simple example that I have considered here. Okay, various questions related to this respective concept will be cleared with this single video. Okay, now here I have just considered one simple example. Okay, and you can see a matrix form is being constructed here and some confusion is here. That's what I'm trying to clear now. Okay, with an example, what that example is saying that we have in total 100 patient medical records how many hundred the number very important total in total there are hundred patient records hmm. and they are basically with respect to let's say a disease x with respect to a disease x okay and here are some predicted values and actual values what do you mean by actual value let's start with first of all actual values actual means in reality in actuality a particular patient has a disease x or not yes or no and that's what is specified here actual no means in reality the patient is not having that particular case that particular sample is not having that disease x yes means what actual yes means what in reality in actuality that respective patient that respective case is having that disease x okay now what do you mean by predicted then what do you mean by predicted let's say that respective patient went to a doctor let's say it went to a doctor now the doctor has predicted no and yes from his or her side the doctor's side okay now the doctor is trying to say predicted no means what predicted no means from the doctor side no means that respective patient is being diagnosed by the doctor as the patient is not having the disease x predicted yes is simply trying to indicate that the doctor is predicting that a respective patient or a, you can say case is having that respective disease x that has been mentioned here okay so that's how the things are here in this respective example and this is the matrix that is getting formed and there are some things which are specified here tn fp fn tp what do you mean by that so it's it's pretty simple by t i mean true by f i mean false okay and by n i mean negative and by p i mean positive okay negative positive true and false but why they are combined in such a way means like t n t p f p what's the reason behind that so i am going to tell you now here simple see let's consider the first cell okay and then we will move on like this first cell will clear all your ideas how it is basically considered here see in this first cell you can see if i just draw a line like from this no and from this no it will be intersecting to this respective cell okay that means from this end there is an actual no coming and from this end there is a predicted no coming okay that means what when these two things are getting matched when these two things are getting matched we say it is as true we say it as a true means what means in reality that patient is having uh, is not having that di uh, disease x and the doctor predicted the same thing as the reality and hence it is true so it's a pretty simple we are placing here true as the both cases are matching no and no a perfect match true is here n and n is indicating negative as the respective patient has been detected negative for this respective disease x so we have placed here as n the negative part you can see and here also a figure is mentioned you can see 40 what do you mean by that 40 what do you mean by that 40 so what does this 40 indicate a simple number it is trying to indicate that out of these respective 100 samples which we have out of these 100 there are 40 such samples which are in reality negative means they are having an actual no to this respective disease x and the same thing is getting predicted by the doctor and the same thing for those 40 respective sample is getting predicted by the doctor as a predicted no simple as that that's the figure that it is it's the importance it's the significance of this respective figure and that we are going to use ahead for deriving some different and important things okay the next one 
what is the next one as we can see here it is fp f indicates false why it is false why it is false you can see here from here it is no from here it is yes if both the sides are not matching we simply place it as a false we simply place it as a false means in reality the patient is not is not holding that respective disease but the doctor is predicting yes that patient is holding the disease x and that's why we have placed here the false and as the prediction is yes means there is some positivity in that so there is positive so hence positive to that respective disease x we have placed it here p and what does this respective 20 figure indicates 20 is pretty easy to just you know understand that out of these 100 out of these respective 100 sample there are there exist 20 such samples there exist 20 such sample that are saying actual no and predicted yes actual no and predicted yes means in reality those 20 patients are not affected by the disease x but doctor is saying they are affected by the disease x and that's the figure 20 you can say that's the figure 20 you can say and if you just you know summarize these things you can generate this figure 60 you can generate this figure 60 which is saying actual no which is saying nothing but actual no means what out of these 100 samples there are 60 such patients which are actually not at all affected by this disease x 